Exterminate! The Dalek race is supreme! All hail the Daleks! Welcome to the Supreme Daleks Channel! The video will begin in 3, 2, 1. It is time to not laugh. Again, greetings, people of Earth. My name is the Dalek Supreme, and welcome to another No Emotions Challenge. It is time to once again try to not laugh at whatever funny videos uh, enter my way. Now, um... I, in the previous video, uh, I may have missed, um, uh, uh, what, what I mean is, uh, in the previous, previous video, I may have missed two videos suggested by Outdoor Gaming. But, uh, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. So, we have, um, two funny kid test answers. One's, uh, and um, they're both called, and they're both made from, by Dang Max. What? The Doctor? Matt Smith, as in, as in the 11th Doctor? Oh no, that, that cannot be good. Anyway, so let's begin. Let's see what this is all about. Let's talk about Grammarly. Any oh my god, box, nobody cares. Quality really? <laughs> oh, wait a minute, uh, wait a minute. Uh, right, okay. Uh, why is this? Guys, I did it. I just borrowed some of my sister's deodorant and moisturizing body right. wash because my skin is drier than my humor. Right. Hopefully she doesn't find out. Shit. That's her. Matt, have you been using my deodorant and moisturizing body wash? What makes you think I took them? Okay, I took them. But you men have did skin take too, them. and women have all the good stuff, leaving us guys with slim pickings. Okay. Have you tried the new Old Spice Fresher collection? It has real ingredients with real benefits for men. <laughs> right. Yes, I did. Mm. Okay, no, I didn't. Catch! <sighs> now you guys can be on the same level as us women. Well, maybe not the same level, but you now have access to some great smelling products that also give you great benefits like moisturization and exfoliation. Right. These are great! Okay, I'll stop using your products since I have my own body wash with Shea Butter now. Good. And to return the favor, I might end up stealing some of your Old Spice Fresher Collection products when mine run out. Okay, never mind. I'll keep your other products, but I'm gonna use the Old Spice Fresher Collection, and you guys should get some too. Just click the first link in the description below. And if you want to win an Old Spice bag full of Fresher Collection products and swag, just take a picture of the face you make when you're relaxed. <sighs> Post it on Instagram and tag me at DangMattSmith using the hashtag MenHaveSkin2 to be entered into the giveaway. But today we're gonna look at some people that should have used Old Spice's Fresher Collection because it helps you relax. And according to these silly and funny answers that they put on their tests, they weren't relaxed at all. Let's check uh, them out. Huh, and yes, this is the last one. The final one! We've done 24 of these, and yeah, yeah, this I, I think this is the last one. Woo! So let's do it. Number one, we got items sold at a cafeteria. Strawberry milk, hamburger, chocolate milk, nacho. Okay. At this rate, how many hamburgers will be sold in five days? You just gotta do a little bit of math here, no problem. And they put chocolate milk? What? 
That don't even make any sense, you little boy or girl. Question was, at this rate, how many hamburgers will be sold in five days? And they put chocolate milk? What? What? Kira and Zach are working together with Grammarly's help. Grammarly encourages you really? to be considerate. Another advertisement. What, boy? Last time I checked, chocolate milk is not a number, uh. is it? Anyway, man, that's ridiculous. I've never seen such a funny, silly, dumb test answer in a long time. This person must really want some chocolate milk. I mean, dang. They're talking about hamburgers and you talking about chocolate milk. Boy, get that out of here. But hey, it could have been worse. DJ Khaled, another one. We got it. I am happy when I poop. Oh, girl. Okay, okay, so am I, but you know what? I keep no. that to myself. Come on, little girl. Don't nobody want to know that you're happy when you poop? Everybody's happy when they poop. Well, I mean, unless they're constipated like me. Or, or, or like, like Jamal. Not not like me. Like, like yeah, 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 like Jamal. Uh, constipation sucks. But comment down below if you're constipated. I am happy when I poop. Girl, you better get that out of here. Man, she doesn't look very happy. She must not be pooping right now. Oh, sitting in class, I wouldn't be happy either. But to the people out there who are constipated and, uh, you know, clogged up, look, you just gotta stop eating the donuts and eat some Raisin Bran. It'll flush everything right out. Yes, I know I'm nasty, but you know what? Leave me alone. Moving on, we got, what are these symbols? Okay, you got a treble clef at the top if you guys are taking music class okay. or, you know, you play any instruments, you know what that is. And then at the bottom, they put, sad face, that is is a bass clef you know you, it is a bass no. clef right yeah it's a bass clef uh, comment down below it's a bass That's clef and they put a sad face these kids are about to make me constipated okay in their defense it does kind of look like a sad face but you know we're talking about music they asked what are these symbols this is not an emoji oh oh man hashtag you're wrong hashtag dishonor upon your whole family but you know what? The good news is they spelled treble clef, right? No. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. I didn't laugh is at that, that one. It? But seriously, is this kid, like, depressed or something? Are they sad? I mean, we're talking about sad faces. Do we need to get this kid a pre-sun or something? I mean, come on. Don't worry, kid. We're going to get you a Lunchable and a kid cuisine. All right, moving on. We got Emma. Oh, sitting and knitting. Oh, bars for days. Okay. A, A, A. Hey, sitting and knitting, hitting and winning. About to go ahead and get that. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, write to complete each sentence. Use the word bank. You just use the words in the word bank and fill in the blank. Boom. And it says, I got yarn at the bank. That's not, you're not supposed to use the word bank. You're supposed to use the word bank. Like, come Oh, the children of our future are not looking good, man. It's, it's, it's not looking good. Do you like the bank? Put your feet on the bank. Did you bank the drink? What the, boy, boy, what is going on here? Actually, the sentences were making sense up until, did you bank the drink? Is that some new slang that I need to be learning? Like, come on now. Get a bank to clean up the mess? Dang. Can you bank your fingers? What, what, what boy? I will bank soon. Oh man, wow, wow. This six-year-old really needs a uh, different school because they're obviously not learning at this one. So you know, it's not uh, not looking good. And time out. Why did they have to color the bear brown? Oh, racism up in here. Discrimination. I'm just kidding. Most bears are brown, but there's white bears. There's black bears. There's the Bernstein bears. There's Yogi bear. There's Smokey the bear. And only you can prevent forest fires. Let's keep it going. We got write your own story problem using the numbers. 23 and 64. Solve your story problem below. Man, I wish I had these questions in class. I mean, this is easy. So they put, Sam had 23 a penis. This is a family-friendly channel. The most family-friendly channel on all of YouTube. We can't be looking at ah. stuff like this. Sam had 23 penises? Oh man, Sam, you need you to read go see my a doctor mind. about that. That's not good. You know how many times you would be having to use the bathroom? Ooh, heck no. Man, you would not be happy when you poop or when you pee. Man, 23 Gs. Do they all like pee at the same time? Or can you like, you know, choose which one you want to pee out? Anyway, man, that's nasty, man. That's nasty. 
nasty. And you wrote the three backwards, man. Okay, okay, in all seriousness, I'm pretty sure this person meant Sam had 23 pennies, okay? You spelled pennies wrong. Or peanuts. That's I don't know. Funny. I think it's pennies. So Sam had 23 pennies. How much more peanut? I'm sorry, I can't read it as pennies because they spelled it wrong, man. Come on. How much more penis does he need to get 64? Man, I'm surprised they didn't put 69. But anyway, how much more pennies does he need 69. to get 69? Uh... Yes, that's a dead net. That's a dead 41. Meme. 41 pennies more. Yeah. Seriously, can somebody teach this kid how to spell? Because right now it looks like Sam had 23 penises and he needs 41 more to get 64. What? Dang that rhyme. Oh, these kids and these funny test answers are giving me a headache. Yeah. But moving on, we got. If someone in the audience cannot hear you, you probably need to increase your volume. Okay, makes sense. If the speaker never changes his rate or pitch, he might be speaking in a monotone. All right, all right. Two for two. If someone suggests that you are slurring your words you need to work on your alcoholism what jeez uh, jimmy what is going on at home man we need to have a talk with this kid oh wow you need to work on your alcoholism how does this kid know about alcoholism dang man blink twice if you need help are things okay at home i mean i, I don't know man jeez slurring your words i'm pretty sure you need to work on your speech or i think that's the answer but also yeah maybe you need to work on your alcoholism i mean dang I don't need to work on my alcoholism. <laughs> okay, maybe I do. Hashtag the struggle is real. Oh, it just got dark. It got darker than my childhood. <laughs> this is not a computer game. This is a browser game. You just go to a link, just start playing the game. I don't know why these are funny. But seriously, man, uh, somebody saved this kid. Well, let's get him on the right track. Jeez. Another one. We got write your own problem and have a friend try to solve it. Hey, it's easy peasy booty squeezy. Or uh, uh, lemon, lemon squeezy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Family friendly. There's a hundred thousand drunk mommies. What is going on with the drinking today? Jeez. First alcoholism and now this kid is talking about there's a hundred thousand drunk mommies. Two hundred got hit by a car. How many left? What? <laughs> Kind of, oh my gosh, this is the most disturbed kid I've ever met. Somebody send them some help, man. Somebody get them on the helpline. 1 800 help me, please. 100,000 drunk mommies. 200 got hit by a car. How many left? I mean, how many are left? <laughs> 99,998, right? Yeah, I didn't graduate, so leave me alone. Woo, jeez, man, it could have been worse. Okay, it could not have been worse, man. That That's as bad as it gets. Man, I don't want to be the friend who has to try to solve this problem. Dang. Seriously, kids, what is going on at home? Like, is your mom drinking too much? We got to report them to child services. I mean, dang. This kid's childhood was almost as bad as mine. Uh <laughs> Gosh dang man, moving on. Let's go. Which of the following requires the longest digestion time? Your mom? <laughs> oh, that doesn't even make sense. So anyway, I don't know how to pronounce this. So, you know, just let me know in the comments down below. Monosaccharides, disaccharides, or polysaccharides. And then they put monosaccharides and that says explain. I guessed. Well, me too, man. I, I guessed too. Jeez. All right, good for you. Hey, as long as the answer's right, it doesn't matter how you got it. I guess, man. Boy, get that out of here. Hey, low key, I guessed on all of my test questions and I still passed. Okay, no, I didn't. I failed. But anyway, hey, you get an A for honesty, all right? So, you know, I mean, you got your dignity. You told the truth. Day, got I mean, this kid's gonna be all right. But let's keep it going. Martha's grandfather was an alcoholic. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. I'm done. I'm done. There is a major alcoholic theme today, man. We gotta get this under control. Martha's grandfather was an alcoholic and her father was an alcoholic. <laughs> Jeez. And her father's father was an alcoholic, and their great 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 granddaddy was an alcoholic. Martha reaches the age of 30 and becomes an alcoholic, loses her job, and robs the store for money. Whoa! Bad influence, man. Guys, don't don't do it. It's not worth it. Is Martha responsible for her actions, or is it not her fault since alcoholism runs in her family? It's her fault. How are you gonna go to the judge and be like, Judge, it wasn't it wasn't my fault. You know, my father's an alcoholic and I'm an alcoholic. You know, leave me leave me alone. I'm sorry, Martha, but it is your fault, okay? And then they put, get your stuff together, Martha. Yeah, man. See, see, a round of applause mm -hmm, for this kid. And they better have got that question right. Hey, ha oh, come on. 
I don't want advertisement. Hashtag get it together. Seriously, you can't blame your bad decisions on your father being an alcoholic. It doesn't matter if your father was a good man, or a bad man, or a black man. <laughs> But you've got to be responsible for your own actions and get it together. Guys, um, it's been fun. 24 funny. episodes of the funniest kid test answers. But here we go. The final, final one. Ah, better be good, man. Let's go. We got this dinosaur can stab you with his face. <laughs> like a fork. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, dang, man. Jeez. I wish I could stab somebody with my face. Ah, then I would never be the laughing stock of high school. <laughs> And the teacher better not even think about marking that wrong. Cause the dinosaur can stab you with his face. I mean, geez. Just like a rhinoceros, man. Not a rhinoceros man, but like a rhinoceros, man. Man, I can't even imagine if dinosaurs existed today. Whoo, oh, right. well, they'd probably kill the black man first. Yeah, <laughs> as usual, man. But you know what? One day we're gonna rise up and we're gonna be the last one to die in the horror movie. Yeah. Oh, man, this dinosaur can stab you with his face like a fork, boy. You better. Woo! And just like my last relationship, it's over. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please, please drop a like. It's going to help the channel grow and all the cool kids are doing it. Really hope you guys enjoyed the video. The funniest kid test answers, the final one. But you never know if this video gets like 100,000. Uh, good, 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 good. I, um, I managed to um, not laugh at that one. Anyway, moving on to the next one then. Okay, let's begin. Back at it again with the funniest kid test answers. Are you right. ready? Funny answers like a kid who put, when I grow up, I want to be a mailbox. Right. Uh, well, you go ahead well, and be the weird. best dang mailbox you can be. But before we keep going, I want to give a shout out and a big thanks to Old Spice for sponsoring this video. It'll be a huge help to the okay. channel and it'll really show your support if you Don't please just do it now. Click that first it. link in the description below and check out the new that, Old Spice that. ads that support the new Ultra Smooth lineup. I've got the new Old Spice Ultra Smooth deodorant right here. Right. But speaking of Old Spice ads, I made one myself. Check it out. Hello, internet. Look at my face. Now look away. Yeah. Back to my face. Look away. Now back to... And maybe keep mailboxes. I know. That you too could smell like me. Now go and post your own remake of the iconic Old Spice ad. Woo! So what? again, please click the links in the description below what and check out the new Old Spice Spy. ads that support the new Ultra Smooth Lino. And make sure you guys comment down below your favorite color. It better be red and white, like Old Spice, yeah. And now okay. let's go ahead and get into the video. When I grow up, I want to be a mailbox. <laughs> yep, really uh, shooting want for the stars there, mailbox. aren't you, Billy? This boy wants to get all the mail from the grandparents and get all the birthday money. Okay. I mean, it won't be that bad being a mailbox. You just chill, take the mail. But you gotta watch out for those hooligans that like get the bats and then like break mailboxes. Ooh. At least why don't you shoot to be a mailman, not a mailbox? <laughs> hey, you're worth a lot more than a mailbox. How is a child similar to his or her father? In what ways do you copy oh, what your father says God. or does? My father is fat just like me. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> God. Hey, it's okay. You know, it, it could be the truth, all right? You know, I'm not going to shame this kid for telling the truth. But you don't have to put your dad on blast like that. You know, he might be carrying a little bit of a, a, a dad bod. It could just be some holiday weight left over from the holiday dinner. Or <laughs> left over from Thanksgiving. I don't know. My father is fat just like me. Come on, you better get that out of here. Get if that my son wrote yeah. this on his homework, I'd be hitting the gym real quick. I'd be like, gosh dang, my son thinks I'm large and in charge. I can. Here we go. I can jump. I can run. I can play in the sun. I can swim. I can skate. I can bake a cake. I can pee. Um, yeah, uh, not sure your grandfather can say the same, so. Okay, yeah, that wasn't funny. Trouble ping. Anyway, um, so, yeah, the teacher had to leave a note on this one. She said, Carson and I spoke about this, but I thought it might be a chance for a family discussion on best self at school. Thanks. Sarah? Wait, wait what the heck? My girlfriend Sarah's a teacher now? What the heck? I'm just kidding. A lot of people have the name Sarah. But he had to draw himself, yeah, you know, taking a leak. I mean, I come on, man. We ain't trying people. to see that. And why is your face black? Huh? Like, what? Well, I mean, he like color, you know, 
maybe he's of the same <laughs> uh, uh, skin tone as myself, so you know he, he wanted it to be accurate. I don't know. But hey, I'm glad you can pee, and uh, okay. at least you didn't say uh, uh, my father uh, was fat uh, like uh. me. All right. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever tried this, but don't if you haven't. Some kid decided they would tape a $5 bill to their test in hopes of getting a higher grade. Like, look at this man, jeez. And they put wink, wink. <laughs> Yeah, dishonor right. upon your whole family, man. You gave this teacher an Abraham Lincoln. Come on, you know good and well they're looking for the Benjamin Franklins, baby. I know teachers don't make a lot of money, but uh, you know you better cough up a little bit more dollars than that, my guy. You better get yeah. at least a twenty up in there, jeez. Five dollars, you can't get hot money with that. You uh, at least maybe get You should have given one dollar for every point uh, that you want added well. to your test, jeez. It's to be honest, to be honest. It to be honest, dude, a dollar's nothing. Now, an imperial credit uh, from from the Dalek Empire. Now that that is worth millions, two thousand grillion dollars. Yeah, that's worth two thousand grillion dollars because, in fact, one imperial credit from the Dalek Empire is like a, a billion. American dollars, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Where do you think? Where do you think we um got the money for the crucible? See, yeah. Plus, plus, I have a bank account uh for for that for that stuff. Basically, so yeah, it. Yeah, building a crucible is just like that. It's easy. Just just hand in your pound, hand in your cre imperial credit, and then um, the the crucible's built just like that. It's so easy. Just just very very easy. It says minus nine. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I, I don't think the five dollar bill worked. No, but hey, they could be a struggling it student no. with some student loans, so you know it's tough out here. It's hard out here for a pimp. Name uh, microwave. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Are you like a rapper or something? Like, do you go by what? the name Lil Microwave? It calls it himself Lil Microwave. Lil it's your boy Lil Microwave out here ready to heat up your hot pockets. His rap name is Microwave, probably because you know his mixtape is fire. You know, it, yeah. it, it's hot. I don't know. Some parent could have actually named their kid Microwave. I mean, I, I don't know. They probably named their Who kid Microwave after their that? great, 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 great granddaddy, Colonel Microwave. <laughs> Shout out to Colonel Microwave, okay? Yeah. My uh, mom worked hard today. Oh, that's yeah. nice. She deserves a microwave yeah. hot dog. Yeah, shout What's out going on with to all these microwaves? Colonel this Microwave. This is probably the same kid. He's obsessed he with microwaves. He calls himself He's got a collection of microwaves in his closet. Normal kids like to play with Lego. This kid likes to play with microwaves. I don't know why. And who microwaves a hot dog? Come on now, you better put that in a pot, boil that thing, or put that in a pan and grill it. Put that thing on the barbecue grill. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, real barbecue hot dog. Oh, that sounds good. Cool. Microwave in your hot dogs. I bet you also microwave your salads. Ew. Okay, try to read this out loud without laughing. Possibly. Alright, alright, here we go. One day my mom farted with delight because she was sick. What was the question? Jeez, the teacher was probably asking about parallelograms. I mean, she didn't need to know that your mom farted with delight. Whoa. What would that even look like? Farting versus farting with delight. Here we go. Disgusting, man! Jeez, I don't know whose yeah. kid this is, but you need to control them. Just hold them back another year. I mean, they need to learn how to write a, a better sentence. All about my mom. All right, all right, all right. We're back at it with the moms. Let me guess. Did this mom fart with delight too? Not Here to we go. My challenge. mom is 13 years not old. Try not to cringe. Uh, I don't know. If your mom's 13, that means she it's had death. you when she was like nine years old. Uh, mm -hmm. uh God dang. I'm pretty sure that ain't really possible. Um, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure this kid just has no clue how old his mom is. But if your mom 13 years old, uh, 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 uh 
uh, she can't even drive and she has a kid. Jeez. What? But you know what? I don't discriminate, okay? I mean, what? you got a 13 year old mom, that's cool. Just saying, your mom can't even vote and she has a kid. God dang. Your mom ain't even graduated middle school. God dang. Unit test 34 multiple choice. Okay, FRQ, okay. whatever that means. Extra credit. That's Draw weird. a shark butt. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that's the most random extra credit assignment I've ever seen in my life. Draw a shark I mean, butt. Like, why don't you just say, just draw a shark. Made them, just draw made me laugh, and find but... Nemo. I mean, but I don't want to draw a shark butt. Well, like, what do they even look like? Is the fin a shark's butt? Like, or is it, like, underneath the fin? I don't know. Out here talking about shark um, butts, ain't nobody got time. You better. I didn't even know my, no. Miss King asked her students to use the word single in a sentence. Okay, all right, should be oh, easy damn. enough. Miss King no. is single. That means she does not have a man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ah, oh, damn it, I was on a whole other level. He said, damn it, I love. Single. That means she does I not love. have a man. This boy going. I'm love. sorry, man. You got an F. I love. Is, or whatever. No. What this was you. You just don't ah. know. How you gonna roast the teacher like that and think you gonna get away with it? Mm -mm, no, not today. But then again, Miss King, you kind of set yourself up for that one. I mean, who asked their students to use the word single in a sentence? <laughs> what am I supposed to put? Uh, yeah, uh, I like craft singles. <laughs> oh. Woo! Adopted mind math. Nobody I'm cares. With me. I'm in first maybe, grade. Maybe, so maybe, maybe math students, but not. Uh, I'm single like a Pringle, but I'm what? I'm ready to mingle. What? Life goals: be human. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Life goal accomplished. Breathe. <laughs> don't lose socks. It's been zero days since I've lost a sock. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to keep up with your socks sometimes, you know, I mean, I, I lose them too, okay? You know, you're not alone. Why don't you just, like, put your socks in the drawer? How about that? You better be careful losing all these How socks. About that? Your parents are gonna have to pay for new ones. You about to get socked in the face. It says, these yeah, points aren't linear. I would respond to Belinda by telling her to make me a sandwich. Jeez. Uh, uh, no respect. No class. This kid is about to get kicked out of class. You know what I'm talking about? You didn't even spell sandwich right. I mean, come on, a sandwich? Dang. That does sound kind of good, though. Okay. Peanut butter and jelly? Mm-hmm. Comment down below your favorite sandwich. This uh, kid mine is... Cold, right? I mean, seriously, um, you're talking about making me a sandwich? Man, that's not how you respond to Belinda. You need to leave Belinda I'm alone. I'm at least let Belinda know which kind of sandwich you want. Jeez. Otherwise, she gonna make you peanut butter and pickles. Ew. What is something you'd really love to learn this year? Except, how to read? How uh, <laughs> many and oh, so that's not funny. Um, not knowing how to read is, is Cause, not allowed. Cause it's a it's okay. It makes you feel better. I learned how to read did. like a week ago, so you know it's all good. Boy, you need an education. But then again, you obviously read that sentence, so you know. I mean, you know how to read a little bit. How many siblings do you have? Two. Tell me about them. They have hair. Oh man, gosh dang. I mean, this <laughs> this should be a kid who just beat the system. Jeez. <laughs> Hey now, hey now, not all siblings have hair. Sometimes they shave it all yeah. off. You know, I, I don't know. So he did tell you about them. He, he told you that, that they have hair. Everybody has hair. Everybody has hair. Yeah, somewhere. What yeah, miracle do uh, Christians celebrate okay. at Easter time? Chocolate. Uh, what? Chocolate. Chocolate. Easter is not about chocolate. I mean, look, they do have chocolate eggs. You know, the Easter Bunny obviously leaves the chocolate eggs. So you know, maybe, maybe it is the miracle of chocolate. I don't know. This kid wants their chocolate Cadbury eggs ASAP. I don't know if you guys have ever gone on an Easter hunt and had to go looking for Easter eggs, but you know, when you get those good chocolate eggs. Ooh, they ain't nothing better. I mean, having a sandwich made for you, that, that actually is pretty good, too. But yeah, Easter is coming up. Hopefully, you guys are ready to celebrate the miracle of chocolate. How much I higher get it. in the air is the second kite? I Not that care. high. Not that correct. <laughs> yeah, that would definitely be me as a teacher. I'd just be roasting my kids all day long. But come on, A for effort. You know, he put not that high. I mean, that, that's right. You know, what do you want him to put? Snoop Dogg high? Not that correct, man. That, that, like, I, I felt that one. I felt that. Write any four properties of white cement. It is white in color. 
<laughs> hey, he's not wrong. The teacher even drew out the meme face and put, you don't say. Uh, yeah. Look, hey, don't get mad at me because I put the obvious down, all right? White cement is white in color. I mean, you know, come on, we got him. You could have at least put like white cement. It's hard, sometimes bumpy, has cracks in it. You know, there's a little lot of things you could have put. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, unlike me. Yeah. Just putting that out there. How is the brain like a cantaloupe? What is going on? What kind of school do y'all go to? Dang, this is a teacher quiz, pattern detection, okay. How is the brain like a cantaloupe? List seven ways. It is delicious. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be- I don't like where this is going. He's sitting next to this kid in class, talking about it's delicious. What, have you eaten brain before? Oh, disgusting. Oh, great, this kid is a cannibal. Oh, man, yeah, stop, we gotta get stop, rid of him. I'm talking about how is the brain like a cantaloupe because it is delicious. Ew, you better get that out of here. That's gonna do it for Funniest Kid Test Answers. Thank you guys for watching the video. Really hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to click the first... Okay. Moving on to the next one, shall we? Okay, now we're moving on to, uh... What these videos are. Oh, and this one. So, let's watch these ones first, and then move on to this one. Begin. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, damn it, I failed. Ah, why does this always happen to me? Why does this always happen to me? Wait, wait, oh, no, I'm not looking for a Markiplier video, I'm looking for the No Emotions Challenge, the No Emotions Challenge. Ah, here we are, here we are, here we are, come on, come on. Well, at least I didn't film me three times. Let's begin. Don't make unnecessary journeys. Don't take risks on treacherous roads. And don't swim in the sea. Incredibly, people have been spotted in the water here in Black Rock and Salt Hill, both today and yesterday. <laughs> okay. That's... <laughs> funny. <laughs> That's not funny. That is not funny. That isn't funny. That didn't. That did not make me laugh. Yeah. Th this is what I need in no emotions challenges. Short videos that find it very very difficult to not laugh at. Okay. Uh, let's try and find the next on them without going weird, because it, it, I think I think it may made me laugh three times. So made me laugh once. I'm mad. Made me laugh twice. How could you? Made me laugh three times. You're fishy, that guy. You know. You know. You know the one. And I ain't having that shit. That's a Jontron reference. Anyway. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh, fuck. 
Monica! Let's try that again. Oh, alright. Yeah, I know I failed on that one. I'm terrible. I'm terrible at this challenge thing. I ain't Markiplier. I know Markiplier. I know, I know Markiplier did it and didn't know it would go that wrong with me as well. Yeah. It appears I'm terrible at not, at not laughing at something funny, so let's b begin with this one then. Let's see this. Let's, let us observe! Funny videos you you suggested. Anyway, anyway, let's have a look at the last video. Something about blasphemous reacts to memes to of himself. What it is, BHD Army, your boy Blastom says D. It's been hey, a uh, I, hey, uh, uh, I've seen you. Says, you. Try not to laugh challenge. I am now doing another try not to laugh challenge. Another Blastom says you try not to laugh challenge. But it's for my gaming videos. I right. Top 10 ones I see, you know, I will be putting them up on my channel. All right. So if you want to see, like, one of your videos up on my channel, then make sure to make a hashtag Blasphemous HD right. try not to laugh impossible challenge. But it has to be of my gaming videos. I'll be putting right. my email in the description uh, of this video to let you guys okay. know where to send those videos to. But yeah, this video is by Hunter. 1s1k he's actually a kid, but he's really good with editing. He's like Steph Curry with the editing. So yeah, man, uh, I, I watched like the first second of this, and I saw he basically had my face over Donald Trump. So it it should be fucked up and funny. He's he's a really funny kid, so it should be good. If you guys want to watch the original video, the link is in the description down below. Lego. Uh, before I start the video, uh, the criteria for the uh, Try Not To Laugh challenge videos on my gaming videos. The videos with the best chance of making it on my channel and getting the shout out 
are gonna be the videos that have the best editing in them. If you want good examples of the type of editing I'm talking about, go watch Corey Kenshin's compilations. I got a couple video examples in the description down below of some good examples of the type of way I want these videos edited. You know, the heavier the editing, the better the jokes, the way better the chance that uh, the funniest ones are going to be the ones that win. And uh, some of those videos might also end up on my reaction channel as well. So, you know, just to let you guys know. But you'll always be in the description down below. You know, shout it out. Right. Below. So, let go. Let's, uh, can, let's Can we stop, please? You grab her right by the vagina. And then you hold her there and you're like, hey. Spread <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Okay. Oh, fuck. No, man. No. Okay. <laughs> God damn. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. This is utterly fucking hilarious, yo. God damn, man. God damn, indeed. Spread it right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's my old intro from my first channel. Oh no. No. <laughs> oh yeah. What it is, YouTube? As you can see, I'm snorting Kool Aid in public. But. <laughs> me for free. <laughs> shit. God, shit. Fuck me for free. That's taken out of context, man. It's out of context. Shit. Shit. What it is, BHD, I'm Mr. Bull Blasphemous HD. And a lot, and I do mean a lot of you guys, have been asking me to play a game called Jack and All 21 Savage. So goddamn addicting. <laughs> you know, Randy, I remember back in the day I used to play with dildos when I was a young person. Huh? Put my hand on a black dildo. We used to be like 250 fucking dollars. Remember that shit? Oh man. Expensive as fuck back in the day. Apparently these days kids are just buying fucking Sega Genesis. The world is not the same anymore. It's a sad time. It really is. Randy. Yeah. Really, Karen? This is what you like, huh? I guess I'm just not thinking of down there for you. Huh? Huh? I told you I ain't gonna cut that time. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Gabby. I'm 12 years old. My favorite flavor of popsicle is This is literally dick. hilarious. Spencer, favorite flavor of popsicle is dick. You're kidding, right? <laughs> You're kidding. This is kind of... <laughs> is this a thing? Where can I see this at? My favorite flavor of popsicle is dick. <laughs> Dicksicle. Bro, I'm done. Oh no! Come on! Come on! <laughs> man, fuck y'all, man. These goddamn pedophile jokes. <laughs> man, fuck y'all. Oh, ho, 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 bitches. <laughs> That's funny. See what I mean? This dude is literally like 14 years old or something like that. He's super young. But his sense of comedic timing is goddamn hilarious. I'm yeah. liking the video right now. Boop. This shit is fucking hilarious. Yeah. Maybe I should be, no. uh... Yeah. No. Maybe I should be reacting to the actual video itself, see? if it works up to its reputation. Oh. It doesn't appear to be on there now. Well, that, that, well, that's not good. Oh, uh, Hairline Cinema! You, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> For producer Chavez! <laughs> 
No! No! This is too funny. This is too well done, man. From the conjuring hairline. Uh, this is from the conjuring. What? Alright. I see her too. Shove a finger in my ass. <laughs> Shove a finger in my ass. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Bruh, it would have been way funnier if dude would have put the it spread it like it would have had me yell spread it while I was jumping at her. Bruh, what the fuck? Long time ago. Bruh. I had a friend Did that go the way you thought it would? <laughs> I bet it did. <laughs> <laughs> God funny. Jesus, man. That's yeah, legit too funny, that man. Is, this is, is this is one of the best ones I've ever Good seen. Good thing man. I didn't laugh. This though. is easily, easily like number one or two I've ever seen, yo. God, God, jeez, man. Hi guys. Uh What's up, guys? Um, this is a bit of a, a, a different uh, type of a video for me, and I never thought that I would have to make this uh, video. Um, okay, so I am straight. I am straight, <laughs> and you know I'd rather tell you guys before you guys found out somewhere else. That's actually funny. That's actually really, I'm straight. Sorry guys, I'm straight, and I don't have sex with kids. I'd rather you guys find out from me than from anywhere else. Uh, <laughs> and now, yeah, anime the intro. best anime oh. intro. Young child's pop. Project Cheeto. Cheeto. Project Cheeto. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Why does it look like I'm taking the world's hardest shit in this video? Like it looks like that. It does not look good. Nah. It don't look good. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, that was that was very very funny. I uh, I enjoyed that. That was fucking good. That, that was, was damn good, good. Yes. That was really. Yes. That, really, that was. Really that was very. Funny. Funny. I did not expect it to be that goddamn good. Yes. I am mad. This came out four days ago, and again, four days. This is from the homie Hunter One S One K. If this dude really put his mind to it, man, he could be a huge fucking YouTuber, yo. But uh, but but yeah, yeah oh my is yes, fucking hilarious. Three years. So I don't know where the fuck these two dislikes came from. So yo, um, the link is in the description down below. Make sure to go check. Well, I was. Yeah, that. Oh, maybe I should. Continue watching. Make sure to go subscribe more. to him. You know, he makes he's fucking underrated as all living shit. You know. But uh but yeah, man, it's both less with SD. Again, you know, I'm starting back up the uh the contest again. You know, um if you guys want to shout out 
from my gaming channel and or probably on this channel as well. Just make a okay. really... Okay, okay. He's basically doing an outro. And so am I about to... So, yeah, those videos, they were quite interesting. Pretty funny. But once again, I lost again, yes. So anyway, people of Earth, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please like and subscribe to become part of the Dark Empire, and I will see you all in the next video then. Goodbye! Thanks all for the enjoyable video. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Dalek Supreme YouTube channel, or you will be exterminated! Long live the Dalek!